Okay. It's a real special day. And uh, to keep my sense of humor, I think uh, I should have announced every week when I retire. <laughs> because people are so nice with me uh, since I've said that. But uh, I would like to thank uh, people here, you know, our fans. Uh, uh, Huddersfield people have shown a lot of class. And uh, it was a great day, a uh, happy day. It was very celebrated to stay in the Premier League. We, it was my last game uh, after 1,205 times. It's maybe time. But uh, it was a special day and the players wanted to win the game. So of all, I would like to thank everybody. I had uh, fantastic human experiences at the club. Uh, above the results, I believe that uh, it was a human adventure for 22 years. And I wish everybody uh, well and a lot of success for, to my club in the future. Can I ask you about the bow before, before the game? That was a lovely touch, I thought. Spontaneous or it was spontaneous, it? yes, because uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, we disappointed this season, uh, the away fans, and that uh, many of them, uh, you know, they, they leave the whole week, spare money to travel up uh, to games, and uh, it's part of uh, respect. We had, we had disagreements with me that I uh, can accept, but we had one thing in common, we loved Arsenal Football Club, you know, and wanted just wanted to just to share that with them today. Arsenal, you had the playing banners flying over the, mm -hmm. the Emirates. Did they, well, the, the they had the wrong banner out today. <laughs> 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 Does that give you a sense that kind of the frustration that was there a year ago didn't you, the respect every fan had for didn't really fade? Do you, do you get that impression? Yes, I get that. I uh, must say, uh, I. Uh, I feel that I got a lot of respect, not only from our fans, uh, uh, but from England. You know, I, 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 I uh, would reiterate, I loved, I, I loved uh, English football, but I loved as well to learn to love England over 22 years. You do not stay in a country like that if you don't like it. So uh, for me, that's as well a uh, good uh, return from from people who love football here. But it's a special country, uh, and especially even for football. And uh, that's why I stayed as well such a long time. It's been said a lot that you changed English football. Does English football change you and all Yes, uh, look at my face. It has <laughs> changed me a lot. And uh, But uh, it's difficult to understand when you don't live in this country how deep the love is for the game. and. Uh, and uh, it was a fantastic experience for me, I must say. Where do I go from there? That's the difficulty, you know, when you have experienced such an intensity for such a long time, uh, it will be difficult. But uh, even not managing the club, I will remain a, uh, a fan of the club. Did you think you've been in Arsenal? Because even before the game, you seem to be sitting out in the dugout for an hour before the game on your own at times. Were you absorbing the whole very yes, I wanted uh, to get a bit out. It's my last day. I thought I deserved a bit of oxygen, you know, and uh, and it was nice weather. Uh, people were nice. Uh, Huddersfield was happy, I must say. Uh, uh, they offered me a nice present before the game here. And uh, I, I, it worked all well because Herbert Chapman was maybe our greatest manager, came from here. Uh, for me to come here on the last day had a special meaning. When you know the history of our club, for me it has a special meaning. And in fact, there was a photo just in front of the dressing room where Chapman just did smile at me uh, because he was on the photo. <laughs> have, have you thought for whatever club, whatever project comes next, have you thought about what it might mean if you ever came up against Arsenal? Which, how would you feel if you had to manage against Arsenal or a team you were working for play against Arsenal? I think uh, I'm not ready for that at the moment, you know. Uh, I, that would be very difficult. I think on this day I would stay at home. And uh, I don't know, at the moment I'm, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's uh, I don't envisage that at the moment. Have you had the offer to do that? Have you had the offer to do that immediately? Yes, I had, uh, I had offers, yes, of course. But at the moment I uh, did not even uh, speak to anybody, you know, I had uh, many offers. But uh, 
I need to, I, I know when you come out of a, such a long process, you cannot jump out and the next morning say, yes, I go somewhere. It's, it is, it's impossible. Do you, do you, think, do you think you could work again in English school? I don't know. Maybe it's better I go somewhere. Yeah. Amy? What, what did they give you as a present? What did they give you as a present? Uh, big uh, uh, remembrance of this 1,235 games and the half of a shirt of Huddersfield and half of a shirt of, uh, of uh, Arsenal together. Not because I came here many, many years ago where we played a game in pre-season for Huddersfield because we had some financial problems and uh, so I, uh, I knew this place and uh, at the time I was happy to come in pre-season, in a pre-season game and since we've moved up to the Premier League. Just a couple more, Amy. Herbert Chapman there. Um, how does it feel to be part of the history of the club? I'm very proud uh, of uh, having contributed a little bit to make, uh, to have give some good moments to people who love the club. But you know what stay will remain. I don't know on the victories or the defeats. But uh, I think what uh, will remain is a, a formidable uh, human aspect of that 22 years that is, uh, was special and uh, I will cherish that. Nick? Apart from the victory, have the players done anything for you? Have they given you a presentation? Well, I keep that secret, you know, we have to keep some things together and uh, the group of players is special. I love, I love, I told them I love to work with them uh, and uh, when you look well at our season, uh, I think uh, there is something in the group that is waiting to come out. We were very close we, this season. Uh, went to, despite all that, we went uh, to the League Cup final, to the semi final for Europa League, but we should have qualified. And uh, at home, we had fantastic uh, season. It's away from home that uh, uh, the, the team needs to improve, and they will. BBC Africa? Look, I had in my whole life African players and uh, I opened the school in Africa with one of my friends, you know, and uh, people like Yaya Touré, like uh, Colo Touré, like Eboué, Gervinho, they came, came all out of this, from this school. So uh, I had George Weah at a very young age, uh, Fofana from Ivory Coast, I, uh, Lauren from Cameroon, you know, I had always African players in my team and uh, they made a huge contribution. Thank you very much. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.